once again welcome you all guys this is our part 2 video and you are watching an instruct channel in this video we will be discussing how to implement home automation with the help of microcontroller, DTMS and relay model for those guys who are directly watching this video we would like to recommend you to go and see our first video as it contains the basic detail of every hardware used in this process and the concept behind it and guys stay tuned with us to watch some more interesting videos on Raspberry and Arduino. Guys, here you can see the Arduino code quickly. Here I'm using pin 234 of Arduino as input pin. These pins are directly con connected to the TTMF 0123 pin. Though I actually need only two pins, but here I use third pin, uh, which I will show you in the code below. So first we will assign uh, corresponding pin mode to input to my uh, DTMF pin which I am using in Arduino as 1 to 3 and correspondingly the output pins as 9, 10, 11, 9 stands for LED, 10 for blue and 11 for CFL spiral. And now I will write the conditions, the logical conditions that if someone press 1 from mobile and the DTMF receives 1 and decode into 100 then I would like to turn only one device at a time and rest I will keep off. So I will just quickly copy paste and replace the LED to blower and spiral CFL. In this way you can code it very quickly only you have to just change the condition and rest part will be the same. So here I will turn only the blue one and rest will be off. Okay, now uh, here I used pin 3, the TT3 pin, because I want here to simultaneously turn on two of my household electrical devices. For that purpose, I need to use one more bit, and that's why I used third pin of DTMF. As I told you earlier in first lecture, that via fourth pin, you can control maximum of 15 devices. One, one at a time, not two at a time. Okay guys, uh, now we have connected our relay module with Arduino. The advantage is that with the same number of output four terminal, we can control many devices. But I'm not going to connect many devices because I have limited number of relays and it will be, become more messy also. As you can see that I've just connected three devices and lots of wire are on the table. So, let's begin. What we have to do in this case, uh, earlier the output from this uh, DTMS module uh, we are taking directly to our relay but now if we are using Arduino then we will uh, directly connect the output module to the input digital pin of the Arduino uh, if you know if you have a little bit worked on Arduino then you know that you can easily uh, via code you can define input and output uh, terminals okay so I have used 2, 3, 4 pin as digital input pin in Arduino and correspondingly I have used uh, digital pin 9, 10, 11 as output pin. Okay. So here are my outputs which I have programmed to some logic which I will show you and which you can also see it here. So these are, are my output terminals. This should be 9, 10, 11. This output terminal goes to the relay input terminal. Here you can see. Okay. So rest the circuit will circuit will be same. Like uh, you have to supply power for the uh, your relay board, which I have given from the DTMS, and a power source to your Arduino, which you can either provide to any charger or you external battery okay so now basically what we have did in programming that if i press one then my LED will glow if i press two then my uh, this spiral cable will switch on and three for blower and four for these two five for these two and six for all three and if i press eight then all the devices will be switched off okay so let's start if i press one 
then my this bulb will glow. One. If I press two, then my CFL will turn on. Wait for it. Signal is not going. Yeah. Okay. If I press three, my blower will turn on. To make all things stop. Okay. And if I want these two lights to switch on, then I will press four. And if I press five, then my spiral CFL and my blower will get turned on. If you press six, then on the LED, two for CFL, three for blower. These two devices. So with phone, uh, you can control it from anywhere, from your house, from your farmhouse, uh, being in another state. So this is pretty cool stuff. Just you have to do is to take an Arduino uh, DTMF kit and some kind of a relay, which will work as an electromechanical switch. Okay, this things. So this is all. Uh, to check the code, just click below the link. And you will be redirected to our website where you can see all the books.